disconnecting and reconnecting hoses. When you are diagnosing problems with a vacuum lifter, often you will need to disconnect hoses. Whenever you reconnect a hose, you should cut a small portion off the end to remove any damaged or distorted section. In this case, we are disconnecting a hose from a push-in fitting. There is a small ridge in the hose where the sealing ring of the push-in fitting was located. Cut a small portion off the end of the hose to eliminate this distortion. Be sure to cut the hose squarely, preferably using a hose cutter as shown. Reinsert the hose in the fitting and then pull on the hose to make sure that it forms a tight seal with the fitting. In the case of a standard hose, the same method is used. Once removed, the hose shows a swollen area where it previously contacted the fitting. Before you reconnect the hose, cut a small portion off the end to eliminate the distorted area. This will provide a new contact point for the hose to ensure a tight connection.